I want to give a special shout out to my friends Sky and Dylan because I know they love doing their nails. So, this is for you. Hey, this is Totally Lila here, and this is my sister Mari. Hi. Yeah, um, so today it snowed again, and we're stuck in the house out of school, and we were kind of bored, so we decided to do our nails. Um, so today we're going to show you three different nail designs to do on your nails. They're really cute and easy, and so let's get started. Okay, so now we're going to show you the tools we use. So, here, do you want to? So, um, okay. Well, these are my nail dotting tools. I got these for Christmas along with my nail brushes because I really like nail art and I do it in my pastime when, like, we're bored on days like this. So, my dotting tools, they come in, there's 10 different shapes and um, 10 different sizes, and um, you can just do designs with them, do dots, whatever you want. And then these are usually used for makeup, but I use them for my nails. You can use them for mixing different colors and doing um, like little intricate designs and stripes and things. And then this book, I got this for Christmas also. It's called Nails, 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 and it has 25 creative do-it-yourself nail art really designs cool. in here. They they have things like the fade, which I'm going to show you today, and um, camouflage prints, um, you know, like chain link, cheetah print, all kinds of cool designs. And then this is my nail board, I guess. I use it when I'm mixing different colors of nail polish and I don't want it to get everywhere. And so I just have like, you can use a plate, whatever you want, to mix your stuff on it when you're doing your designs. And this is our little nail opalis like my cool nail wall. nail thing this isn't even all the nail polish that we have this is all I can fit in and then this is like extra stuff like you know candy nails and stickers that you put on your nails nail art pens you know glitter like there's more nail polish down there and it's really cool and stuff like that because we're going to put all our so nail polish in a gajillion different nail polishes in here then we have, always got to have nail polish remover just yeah. in case you mess up, you know. Typical. Or you want to do like a French manicure and you have to line it up. Okay, so um, next you have to put something down when you're doing your nails because our mom hates it. If you get nail polish on the carpet, that's like a no-no, like do not do that like, <laughs> at all. At all. So we put the newspaper, New York Times. But, um, so you just lay some newspaper down, and so let's get started on showing you the different nail designs. So the first design that we're going to do is this really cute cheetah print design, and it's blue and red on top of a white base, and it's really easy, and Mari's going to do it on one of my fingers, and it's like super duper easy. So let's go. Okay, so these are the colors that I'm using, white for the base, and then I'm using black, blue, oh, that's the wrong one. blue, and red for the inside of the cheetah print. So I have two different brushes that I use, one to create the dot look and then one to do the black around the sides. Okay, so first I'm going to paint the base, the base coat onto there. And usually, if your nail polish isn't that um, opaque, you want to do um, two coats. Oh, God, my spot fell. Sorry about that. That's Teddy. Teddy, here's a dog. <laughs> Teddy. Okay. So you might want to wait for that to dry for like a minute before you put a design on there or it'll get messed up. But uh, while we're waiting for it to dry, you want to take all your colors and set them out so that you can do it. So you want to get like a little puddle of blue. Oh, 
color of red and some black. Okay, so now I'm going to do the dots on the nail. So, you want to do like two dots for each color. Or not that many, of your nail isn't that. And they don't have to be perfect circles. You kind of want to make them like non-perfect. Because that's how cheetahs are, so. Okay, now that I have the color, I'm gonna do the black around it. You just, I, I'm using the smaller brush to do this. You just wanna, you know, put black around each side. If your parents don't want you using your, their makeup brushes to do this, you can always get like a small paint brush to do it. Just like any, like a toothpick maybe. Just anything could work. Okay, so I did the black around the outside, and now you just want to add like little black dots around the empty spaces just to finish the cheetah print look. And then we're done. So, it's all cold and wintry outside, and we wanted to bring a little spring in here. Like, it's literally raining ice cubes. Like, raining ice cubes. Like, but we wanted to bring some spring in here. So, um, I found these cute little daisy. It has daisy on one finger and stripes on the other. And it's really cute and spring, spring tiny. And I'm going to show you how to do these right now. So... So the colors you will need are this white, this blue, and this orange. And you will also need this dotting tool and this small brush. Okay, so first you want to start out with um, p putting your white and your orange into two different piles right here on that card. And then you will take your blue and paint it on your ring finger. So that's this finger, and you just paint it on that finger, just like that. So simple, and you want to let it dry. Okay, so now you're going to take your dotting tool, and you're going to dip it, the big end, into the white. And so the daisies are going to be coming off of each edge, and you can choose to do it on these two sides or these two sides. I'm just going to do it on those two sides. I don't really care. Um, so you just take it a little bit from the top and just bring it in like that. It's okay if some of it gets on the, the finger because you could just wipe it off. So you just go off like this. small one and just make sure it's all white and you can't see anything else and so you got a little bit on the, the finger part but that's okay because you can just wipe it off but um so you want it so you want to do that on both ends so both opposite sides so now what you're going to do is you're going to take the same end that you used to do the white part of the flower the petals um and you're going to dip that in an orange and you just want to put it right in the middle on the corner of your finger to make the inside of the flower. And that looks really cute. Just like that. It's nice and easy. And you are done. And so on my fingers, on the rest of I like the ring finger to be different from the other fingers. So I did... Um, I did the daisy on this and then some stripes on the other fingers, but I'm not going to show you how to do that because it's really easy. It's just basically stripes on top of white. Um, and so on your other fingers, you could do whatever you want, but I just like the ring finger to be different, so you could do whatever you want on your other fingers. So I'm going to show you guys how to do 
the fade effect or the fancy word for it, the ombre effect. It's in my um, my nail art book. Um, but I'm going to introduce the colors. So really you can use any color that you want to fade into, but I'm going to use um, pink. For I'm going to show you pink on one nail and purple on one nail. And you can use white. I'm using white on the bottom. You can use whatever color you want for any of these designs. And then you want a, a clear top, a clear bottom coat so that you can um, mix the things together. And then you want a brush and a mixing pad. So first I'm going to paint my nails white on the bottom for the base. Okay, so I'm mixing my nail polish together. I'm mixing the bottom coat, the clear bottom coat, and my colors together to create the fade effect. So this is a purple, and then I'm mixing the pink together to make like this clear, lightish pink to put on my fingers. So I'm taking my colors that I just mixed this is the light pink and I'm just going to paint it on my nail same thing with the purple and paint the light purple Now you're going to mix your colors so there's a little bit more saturation and it's darker. So I'm mixing the pink so that it's darker. And I'm also going to mix the purple so that you can make the fade darker as you go up on the nail. So you just take little drops of your nail polish and mix them together with your brush. And don't use the um, brush that comes in the nail polish because you'll just mix the colors together. And that's not really good. So here's my purple nail. A little bit darker as you get to the top. And I'm going to do the pink. Also darker. For the final step, I'm going to add the actual color to the ends just to make the fade darker at the top of the nail. So you're just going to take your color and just use the brush to brush the darker color at the very tip of your nail so that the fade is complete. And I'm going to do the same with the purple. It's a little too dark, but you can just go back in and make it lighter with the clear polish. But that's basically it. And this is a finished product. Here are mine. Here are the other ones. <laughs>